Hey folks, Steve Lewis here. Welcome to Relevance for today. Special message for you today. We're going to be talking about some things we can do while we're sitting at home relaxing for this time we're in right now in the world. It's an exciting time in a different way. Don't quote me the wrong way, but you'll find out what I mean. Stay tuned, folks. We've got a journey. Okay, so I am back. So, first thing I want to say is, folks, pray for all those out there who are hurting, suffering. Pray for those who are dying from the coronavirus, but also don't forget to pray for those who are dying from the flu, who are dying of natural causes, who are dying from abortion, all the different ways people are dying right now. This time, this season that we're in right now, it's a test, it's a challenge, call it what you want, but watch how we act right now in this day and age as followers of Jesus Christ to see our humanity, to see our compassion, to see what we're going to do in times of trouble. So I just want to jump right into this, folks. First of all, let's also give a shout out to all the healthcare workers, the nurses at the nursing home, including my wife, the nurses, the CNAs, the doctors, all those out there working in the hospitals, the nursing homes, and everywhere else where they're giving care to those who are hurting and suffering. They do it on a daily basis. Right now with this whole crisis thing going on and people dying and worrying about the virus spreading and so forth, we have a lot of healthcare providers all around the world. They need our prayers. Pray for them, folks. Pray for them all. I don't want to shed light on that and not shed light on the fact of thousands and thousands of people are still dying from other illnesses as well. So it's time to come together and focus and pray and just have our eyes opened up. This is an eye opener. It's an eye opener for me. I thank God that the Holy Spirit put on my heart and put in my spirit, man, to start Relevance for Today over a year ago and to really dig in. And I thank God in November for when the Holy Spirit guided me to get this studio built down here so I can get the word of God out to you because right now there's more people sitting in their homes than ever before with this whole shutting down jobs right now shutting down the schools and things like that now is the time folks tap in it's time to tap in it's time to dig in God's word it's time to learn about what God's called us to do it's time to step up for those who are in need oh Okay, I'm going to dig right in because otherwise I'm going to be all over the place because there's so much I want to share, but I don't want to take up too much time. So first of all, kudos to a local church. I seen a church in Maine by the name of Charleston Church. I see that uh, by the time this is posted, because I've got another post I need to post, but another podcast, but Charleston Church in Maine. They're going to start doing a virtual virtual worship service, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. When I watched the video, a good friend of mine, Steve Young, sent me a video from his wife, Kristen, and I watched this video, and literally, my spirit man rose up, and I was just excited. Because a week ago, and I should have shared it, and I didn't. But a week ago, I wanted to get on and I wanted to do a video and I wanted to say this. The Lord is calling you and you know who you are. You have a voice, whether you're a pastor, prophet, whatever you might be. The bottom line is you have a word for the people. You have a word for people in your congregation. They may have thousands in it. They may have 20 in them. But I'm telling you right now. What we have available to us through the internet is powerful. Holy Spirit will give a message for some pastors and they may have 75 to 200 people in the congregation. But can you imagine if you set up a camera 
or use an iPhone or whatever you may want to use and you videotape that same message while it's being preached and then you get it online and you share it, you're going to reach thousands upon thousands if not millions. I want you to think about that. You don't even have to pray about it. You need to set up a camera. It's time. Set up a camera, record it, whatever it takes record your messages and get them out to people i've been telling some of my friends that for a couple almost two years now start a podcast get a podcast going people need to hear what you have to say people need hope people need to learn about god's word get started i'm going to set up a podcast here in a week or so where i'm going to teach people how they can set up for podcasting or you can just look right online there's many guys out there that show you how to get things set up simple easy start with what you have you can just take your smartphone and stick it up and do something with it you can take your ipad if you wanted to sit it right there and get started either way don't think too hard on it get started i've got lights going and the camera and all kinds of crazy stuff but that's just because God called me to do that. And so I knew I needed to get in it. If I'm going to do it right and it's for the Lord, I need to get my stuff set up the way I did. But the bottom line is I'm going to set something up, set up a, I'll also do a couple printouts. People can download them as a PDF file, which will tell you what I use. It'll help you with some tips and instructions, but you will reach more people if you start using online resources than ever before. Keep that in mind take that to heart okay so I want to go through a couple things real quick so we're all at home now right need something to do dig into the word okay get into the word grab your Bibles take your time read them start journaling I don't know if you know uh, some of you journal I'm sure there's many of you out there that actually journal you know I've got one here that I finished out uh, I think the end of 2018 grab yourself a journal do your writing in it you know fill it fill it with all kinds of goodies you can come back and read it later document it for your future family members if Jesus doesn't come first but just take your time sit down grab a journal of some type and just start writing your thoughts in it you know hey March 17th sat down listen to Steve Lewis's podcast he shared something with me that was really important, that really sparked something in me that I was thinking about already. I'm really going to take these steps to do this, 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 and this. Whatever. You know, today I ate a pound of bacon. I don't feel good about it, but I did it. That's not in my journal. But you get my point. You know, do some journaling. One of my favorite journals I have here. Oh, my word. I love this thing. Exciting. Put a little piece on it here. This is super huge, okay? This one right here, got this online, handmade. I'll put his information out, but this one is my baby right here, and I need to use it more often. This comes from Zencraft online, gentlemen. Zencraft, Yochanan, Israel. Awesome stuff. Okay, if you look up Zencraft, he makes the, it's like a Midori, okay? You can put your little notebooks in it, things like that, but you could have in here all your Bible notes, whatever you want, you know, using your notepad inside it. You got the little side flaps. This is amazing. Now, this one cost me over $100, but it was well worth it. It's leather. Amazing, okay? Journaling. Ding! First thing. The other thing, of course, getting into the Word, but sometimes, you know, like right now, this isn't planned. You're not thinking, well, I didn't know I was going to be sitting at home all week or for the next couple of weeks or whatever. Kids are home and everything. I'm going to take my time. I'm going to dig out a Bible that I understand when I'm reading it. Okay? Very important. Find a Bible you understand. Go to uh, Christian Books online and you can get all kinds of great study material okay this one is the complete bible discovery set by stephen millers or stephen yeah stephen m millers stephen miller so in it he has three different books we've got the complete guide to the bible awesome colored pages 
all kinds of good stuff in there. Uh, it goes through and talks about the different books of the Bible and explains to you different things in those chapters, in those verses. First Chronicles goes through, gives you the history, tells you a little bit about it, gives you a synopsis of the entire book. This is an amazing book to get. Complete Guide to the Bible. Okay? That one's an awesome one. Who's who and where's where in the Bible? Okay? So you come in here, you got Judah. So you go through and you learn about Judah. Uh, John. Come through, as you can see, alphabetical order. Haran. Herod, Spring, Heziel, Canaan, and so forth. Great book as well. Teaches you a lot about the Bible and the people in it. And the last one here is Bible Snapshots. So it goes through and gives you a little bit about different books, talks about different things in the Bible. Another great utility to use to dig into God's Word while you're hanging out waiting on this whole virus thing to go. So it's a way to take advantage of what's going on right now. Don't just sit around and sulk about what's going on. Be praying. Be vigilant. Use this time to get in the Word. Okay? I've got another one here. Okay, I'll leave that turn like that just in case anybody else needs to write it down. Uh, this one, where to find it in the Bible, the ultimate A to Z resource to over 3,700 contemporary topics. So you look up a topic in here. For example, it looks like I had something marked here. Must have been doing a Bible study. So you have, for example, foreknowledge. So then you would go in here. And it says foreknowledge of son's future, Genesis 49. It tells you where to go. Okay. So it's like a word study. You can come in here, look up different words, things like that. So that's another good one. Okay. Awesome. Sit that right there. Doing all this advertising for folks for free. Um, I want to read something for you today. Here's another one. The living the Proverbs day by day. So sometimes what will happen is you'll go into Christian books. Or it's not Christian book. Yeah. Uh, Christian books now. It used to be Christian Bible distribution or something like that. CBD. But remember they changed it because CBD is also... The marijuana pills and resources and things like that so they changed their name so that it would show up in the search engines better and it wouldn't be so confusing so sometimes you'll go in there and you'll get some great sale items i found this one on sale is a 365 daily devotional i think i bought this at a local store um, we have a store up here called martin's and it was 75 percent off so i pulled it out today and thought, you know what, when I'm doing this teaching, I'm going to actually read what today was about. So here's what it's about, and it's actually a good topic. Choosing wisely. It says, Proverbs 11.6 says, The righteous of the upright rescues them, but the treacherous are trapped by their own desires. So it continues on, and out of James 3.17 it says, but the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, willing to yield, full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality and without hypocrisy. Because, and I'm going to go ahead and read. So see, it's got the verses in there, but then it also has a passage to read for the day. And this is so perfect for today. So here it is. Because we are creatures of free will, we make choices, lots of them. When we make choices that are pleasing to God, we are blessed. When we make choices that cause us to walk in the footsteps of Jesus, we enjoy the abundance that Christ has promised to those who follow him. But when we make choices that are displeasing to God, we sow seeds that have a potential to bring forth a bitter harvest. Today, as you encounter the challenges of everyday living, which we are definitely in a challenging day, okay, you will make hundreds of choices. Choose wisely. Make your thoughts and your actions pleasing to God. And remember, every choice that is displeasing to Him is the wrong choice. No exceptions. Okay? So that is living the Proverbs day by day. Okay, so got that one. 
Um, and there's lots of others. I just plucked out a few. Um, I even have a Thomas chain over here. I guess I should have had that dug out. I have a Thomas chain reference Bible. Unique, known, and trusted since 1908. It has an alphabetical index, numeric index and chain topics, Bible readings, outline studies of the Bible, character studies, Bible harmonies and illustrated studies, revised concordance, full color Bible maps, easy to use, all topics and other helps, and numbered for easy reference. Okay, so this one, see how the, the box is all dented up? Well, this was actually Christian Books had a, I think it was 75% off. You can see it has the red marker on there, that red or orange dot on there. This was on sale. I bought it for a fraction of the price. This is like an $80 Bible, and I picked it up for 20 bucks. okay? So in these ones, you have references. So you'll have references down the sides with numbers, and you can actually take those numbers, and you can go to the back in the reference area. I mean, this thing is full of references. It's got all kinds of references, places to take you to. This whole back section. Look how far this goes. Let's get all the way to Revelation here. So Revelation is right there. So all this is references. The Bible portion and all this is references. So this in itself, you could sit back and just grab your highlighter. You like that? Out of my pencil cup show and tell moment okay so anyway uh, go right in go to work get yourself out a notepad start cranking it out get into the word you've got the time folks this is the time to get educated it really is it's a time you know hey all the sports shows are canceled right you might as well do something get into the word really important because it's okay to go to church or, you know, go to a worship center on Sunday. But what are you doing the rest of the week? God wants you to have a personal relationship with him. Because remember, at the end of the day, the last thing you want him to say to you when that day comes is, depart from me, I don't know you. So you need to get to know him. And you need to get to know him on a personal level. And if you don't understand what that means for you guys that are married or even if you have a girlfriend. Guys, if you have a girlfriend... Men, you've got your wives. If you don't speak to your wife for two months straight, okay, talking about husband and wife here, if you don't speak to your wife for two months straight, and then you all of a sudden you say to her, honey, can you make me a meal? Or honey, can I give you some sugar? I want to give you a kiss and hug you. What do you think she's going to say? Excuse me? Who are you? Right? If we don't speak to our wives for a week, right, gentlemen? the relationship would be hurting, correct? So what happens if all you do is, you know, ask God for a thing here and there, God help me through this, God help me through that, but you never sit down and take the time to get into the Word, talk to Him, spend time with Him. Exactly. Build that relationship while you've got this time off. Uh, the other thing I want to talk about too, we have the perfect opportunity to be a blessing. If you look in First Peter, 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 10, it says, God has given each of you a gift from his great variety of spiritual gifts. Use them well to serve one another. So what gift do you have? God has given you a gift. Has God given you a calling? Do you have a calling on your life that you've been putting aside and pushing aside? If you do, now's the perfect time. Dig in and get cracking. Um, recently I went on and took the time. I did a three day fast because I wanted to meditate on what God wants me to do with relevance for today. And I got some great insight and I went on and made my little notebook relevance for today ministry handbook. And in that, the first thing I did was my purpose and my vision. Find out what your purpose and your vision is for your ministry and get started. That way, when you ask yourself, why am I doing this? You can come back and read your vision again and go through the steps and make sure you're staying on track. Any prophetic word or anything someone spoke to you, go ahead and type that up. Put that in your little notebook and things like that so you can get yourself organized because we're coming to us. It's boots to the ground. 
I know some of you listen to a lot of my podcasts and you heard me say it more than once, feet to faith, boots to the ground. It's time to put this down for a few minutes and step out and start doing it. It's time to put down the instruction manual. Now, I shouldn't say put it down, but it's time to do what the instruction manual has been telling us to do, and that's getting out there and taking care of folks, showing people the love of Jesus Christ, sharing the gospel, and all that good stuff. And the last thing I want to share with you folks real quick is what we can be doing right now. And I was sitting back thinking of all the different things that's going on right now, and I'm really impressed. We have a local, our local county has a Facebook page, and on it, it was set up for the coronavirus type operation type thing, what's going on in the community and things like that. It really blessed me and touched my heart when I go to that page and I read where someone will say, does anyone have any children? I have diapers. You just come pick them up, they're yours. Or someone else says, hey, I have toilet tissue. Um, I'm only selling them for X amount of dollars, for X amount of rolls, and they're selling it real cheap to help people out. Someone else says, hey, I don't have a way to get any baby formula because it's all gone from Walmart. Someone else immediately said, I have some. Where can I drop it off? That is what we need. We need to see that humanity thing going on here, the compassion, the love for our fellow brothers and sisters, for the love for man, for the community. So, the last thing I want to share, and I probably messed it up here. Okay, the last thing I want to share, I want to share one more verse with you folks. Very important passage of scripture. James, chapter 1, verses 27. This is something that we all need to take a look at right now in this state that we're in right now with everything going on. And here it is. Pure and genuine religion in the sight of God the Father means caring for orphans and widows in their distress and refusing to let the world corrupt you. That's you. That's me. Watch for the needs in your area. Watch for who's hurting. Watch who's suffering. Donate. Be a blessing. Give to God. That right there is giving to God. If you have extra finances, give it to God by reaching out to these people. Take a look. There's going to be widows. There's going to be orphans. There's going to be elderly couples who may not have enough money to make ends meet with everything going on. Someone may have something that someone else might need. Help orchestrate it. Take care of it, folks. We have the opportunity to shed the light on Jesus Christ so that he gets the glory in all this. And when someone says to you, thank you so much, you don't know how much this means to me, you're welcome. But God gets the glory for that. Just thank God. Pass the favor on. Pass the blessing on and so forth. Okay, folks? So keep that in mind. Remember, I know I shared quite a bit, but I was sharing things about getting into the word while you have this time off while the world's in chaos pray for the world pray for our first responders pray for our nurses our doctors pray for our truck drivers i mentioned the other day about all the workers and thanking god for them but pray for the truck drivers as well as the factory workers everything is being pumped up the it rolls downhill you know what I mean? You got the store workers, you got the cashier, the store workers, you've got the guys driving the truck, you've got the manufacturers working hard in the factory, you've got everybody putting time in, you've got people that aren't working right now because their businesses have closed, people that need prayer, we've got the nurses working hard, the doctors working hard, the CNAs working hard, staff members, people cleaning, there's many people out there that need your prayer. Don't forget about that. Also, pastors, all the fivefold, the fivefold gifts, and everybody else, period. If you have encouragement to share, turn that thing on and start sharing it. Record your sermons, pastors. Record your sermons, get them online. Start sharing these things because people are sitting at home now. They're sitting at home watching the news. Oh my gosh, I don't know what I'm going to do. Hey, let's give them hope. Let's give them hope. Let's give them the word. Let's teach them how to read it. Let's teach them how to build a relationship with Jesus Christ in this season. 
Heavenly Father, we need you. We need you. It's time to rise up, folks. I'm a broken record. I've been saying it for years. It's time to rise up, step up, step out. With that being said, let's go ahead and pray. Heavenly Father, just thank you for this opportunity to share with all these wonderful people out there, Lord, with the way everything's going right now, with the virus and panic and distress, depression, so many things going on right now, Lord. But I can say this, it's time for us to turn to you. We pray for you to heal our land, Lord. We ask you to forgive us of our sins. Forgive us for not taking the time out more for you and taking time out more for our fellow man and taking time out for the lost and the hurting and the suffering. But we know there's going to be a change in that because as we step up to the plate and become the men and women of God that you called us to be, blessings will flow through the land. Heavenly Father, we pray for our president, his staff, and all those that are working hard to do the right thing for our nation. I thank you that our president isn't afraid to say God and Jesus and freedom of prayer time. Thank you for that, Lord. Thank you for the freedom that we have. Bless each and every individual listening to the sound of my voice and watching this video. Heavenly Father, healing in the name of Jesus Christ across our lands, across this entire world, in all areas, Lord. Not just the coronavirus sufferers, but the flu sufferers. People dying, Lord. People changing their mind about having an abortion. All the different things, Lord, that are causing people to die. We're praying right now for there to be healing and restoration in the world. And for the body of Christ to rise up and be the people that you truly called us to be. It's time for us to step out, step up, reach people. Help us, Lord. Encourage us, Lord. We thank you so much for your word. We thank you so much for giving your son for us to give us life everlasting. And we thank you for these things in Jesus' precious, precious holy name. Amen. There it is, folks. Thanks for taking the time to listen and watch. More episodes coming ahead. God bless you all. Take care of yourselves. Love you. Peace.